Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemis by Destiny. Today we see a new video in which we will extract from Iron Povidone our metallic cubite. So this uh, product you can find it easily in uh, the uh, pharmacy uh, and it is used uh, for infections. So let's do it. So guys, the procedure for the experiment uh, is uh, to first pour some uh, iodine boiling uh, in our uh, in our beaker. After that, we're going to prepare a sodium hydroxide uh, solution and uh, we're going to mix it to precise. We're going to pour some uh, sodium hydroxide solution into the beaker with uh, 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 iodine boiling. Uh, then uh, uh, we are going to see that the solution becomes lighter and lighter in color until it becomes uh, a yellowish or a brownish uh, color. Then you know that you must stop. The most important aspect is that the uh, polymer is formed and uh, in based on the color of this polymer when it becomes yellow, you must stop uh, adding uh, uh, sodium hydroxide because you don't know exactly how much you need to add. After that, uh, we are going uh, to uh, filter this uh, polymer as much as we can uh, with the candle or something else like that. And uh, then uh, we are going uh, to boil down this solution because some more uh, polymer is going to uh, be dissolved in the solution by uh, boiling it uh, into uh, surface out. And then we are going to filter it uh, once more. After we are sure that there is no more polymer in our uh, solution, we are going to add some hydrochloric acid. Uh, then you will see a slight change in color, maybe to become uh, darker yellow or something like that. Uh, then uh, we are going to add our hydrogen peroxide to the solution and uh, we will see uh, uh, the iodine uh, forming in the, at that point. Uh, and uh, then uh, you just have to uh, purify, uh, of course you filter first this solution in order to obtain the iodine. And uh, then uh, you're to purify it, uh, you uh, must uh, heat up uh, these uh, crystals in order to make uh, uh, iodine evaporate. And uh, later on uh, you uh, just uh, make them uh, freeze uh, with uh, some cold water in a bar round flask. So guys, in our solution we don't have uh, iodine, but we have some other ion of this product and in fact we have three iodide solution. So we make it react with uh, hydroxide ion 
and we obtain uh, your date and uh, your dial ions. So once we have this, uh, we just have to boil our solution in order to concentrate this product. Once we have done so and we have separated a polymer that is formed from this uh, solution, we make it react our ions, if you remember, are iodate and iodite with uh, hydrochloric acid. With this reaction, iodine is produced, but uh, iodine reacts with uh, iodide that is in excess of, uh, from this reaction to form again our three iodide uh, ion. After that, uh, we just have to add hydrogen peroxide, and there is also some hydrochloric acid in excess from the previous reaction. And this, uh, as we know, hydrogen peroxide with, uh, with a low pH is a strong oxidizing agent, and this is able to convert our ion into uh, iodine, and so this precipitates from our solution because, as we uh, as we said before, iodine is insoluble in water, and so once we have pre precipitated this uh, iodine, we just have to uh, filter our solution get our precipitate and sublimate it in order to provide. So guys, the experiment is always is over, and we want you to know that this is really dangerous because sodium hydroxide solution and also hydrochloric acid solution are really corrosive, and also your dye mix itself can be dangerous if it is inhalated. So everyone, if you like this video, uh, please be free, feel free to comment and also give us some suggestions for future videos. If you want to see more amazing experiments like this, go visit the page and subscribe to it. So for today, all, thanks for watching, guys.